Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and we've got a brand new series for you. This is the NCS guessing game. I've done before the Monster Cat guessing game, two seasons of it actually, where I was the host and had brought on like my sister, my, my wife, my friend, a bunch of other friends, my parents to guess the most loved and hated Monster Cat songs from the uh, this Monster Cat Boat Discord, where a bunch of people voted on the best of all time, that's what boat stands for, and tallied them all up and best and guessed, essentially heard a 30 second snippet if we thought the song was um, the most loved or the most hated. So we're gonna do the same with NCS, but we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, I'm not gonna host this time. I have got lovely BL Craft here, sure. and uh, he is going to be hosting, and I'm actually the contestant, so this is gonna be super fun. Uh, so I don't know a ton about NCS. I'm a huge Monster Cat fan. I've listened to a few songs here and there, but uh, yeah, so give us a little rundown of, I guess, the boat that happened. So same, similar voting to the Monster Cat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have another fan server. Uh, it's a bit different, it's more of like, an overall fan server, not really just for boat, but yeah, we do have a boat. This one we ran in 2021, so the same year as Monster Cat, and you know, it just works the same way. Every day, we post all the songs that were like you know released on that day, and then everyone votes on like you know how much they liked it or not. And at the end, yeah, we have a big sheet. So in total, we have around like 1,600 songs. And wow. so yeah, today we're we're going through, and I picked out like because Votide knows EDM pretty well, right? I do. I hope so. It should be easier for him to figure out, like you know, what what are things that, like people would like, what are things that, like people might not like so much. But uh, you know, this is new territory for him. So yes, it is. So I'm intrigued too because when we were talking beforehand, you were like, I, f I feel like you're gonna get them all. So I feel like it's a failure for me if I don't get 15. So we're gonna say we're doing 15 songs. We're gonna hear. I'm gonna hear a 30 second snippet of 15 different songs, and I have to guess if they're loved or hated. I, I feel like I feel like if I don't get it all right, I've failed. Personally, I feel like I need that really? 100%, or at least maybe one. I'll give myself one room for error, which is interesting because there's people that came on the Monster Cat guessing game that knew Monster, or that knows Monster Cat and actually knew EDM pretty well, and they just they couldn't get it. I think the highest was eight out of twelve was anyone. So uh, what, sixty seven percent? So I will see if I get over ten, I've done better than anything else, which I should because this is this is the game that I know. I know this is my bread and butter. This is the music I know. So uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. Uh, let's hear the first track. Uh, yeah, of the NCS guessing game. Here we go. No, I feel like this is going to be hard already. I'm just telling you, I, I purposely made this hard. I, I, I knew, I didn't want it to be too easy, I'm, I'm saying. Good, good. Uh, so, I think you set your bar a bit too high, I'd say. Uh-oh. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's the 30 second snippet. Yeah, maybe I did set my bar too high. That is actually fascinating because I know the NCS like culture community is a little different where the tracks, um, like what they do and don't like is obviously different. So this is, again, this is from really what is loved and what is like hated is is purely by the NCS community or a bunch of people on a Discord server. So this isn't the be all end all. These aren't like the best and the worst songs of, of sorts. So. Um, my goodness. So part of me felt like that song was a little basic. It felt like some pretty, I don't know, kind of basic tropical house, but it also wasn't like displeasing. Like it was a little boring, but it was like something I would find myself like enjoying a little bit. So I'm, I'm already stumped. Oh no. I'm going to say it's, I'm going to say it's a loved song. I'm going to say it's loved. You're right. It is loved. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, you're kind of right. Um, I mean, a lot of NCS is like kind of nostalgia carried, I guess. But yeah, uh, yeah. So what, what was that song? Know. Name it. Uh, oh the... yeah, uh, that is "Tropic Love" by Diviners, and featuring Conte Priest. Okay, uh, well, I definitely got the tropical part of that uh, right. Yeah. That's for sure. So okay, whoo! I've I'm a heart's beating a little faster now. Okay, one. Wow. I'm one for one. Here we go. Song number two. Oh, this has got to be love, I feel like. Oh, 
Okay, right off the bat, I'm I'm pretty much gonna say loved. I, I it feels like a Ramesses B track or Ramses B. It, it, it feels does. like that right off the bat. So I'm gonna say loved. You're incorrect. It is not loved. Actually. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, Why? I don't find it, I don't find it too bad, but it's just also not really interesting to be honest. Uh, yeah. I'll, also, sh- I should note since you said it was kind of like Ramses B. Um, this this rendition of the game does not include any Monster Cat artists. We are saving those okay. for something else. Oh, so, exciting! Give a little um, teaser. Okay, no Monster Cat artists in this yeah. one. Yeah. But yeah, wow! I'm shocked. I I felt like that. I don't know. So maybe this is the harder part where when people told me earlier when I was hosting, they were like, oh, this is only like 30 seconds. So it's harder because it's only like 30 seconds. And I was like, oh, but like you should know easily. I guess the structure of the song really does play a big difference. Like if that was the same, if I would have heard maybe a full thing and the in-between sections aren't as interesting uh, to me, I should say I, yeah, that's, that's fascinating that I thought I was more confident on this one than I was the last one. So really, wow. But yeah, okay. these are just 30 seconds. Yeah, so. I, they are just 30 seconds, but I guess that's part of the game. Wow, I'm shocked. Okay, I am uh, one for two. I've already technically... I gotta go perfect the rest of this, so... Oh no, here we go. All right. uh, here's track number three. Oh, man. Okay, off. Considering what I had just previously, or what I had just guessed, and I guessed it was loved, and you said it wasn't because it wasn't as I would say like dynamic. It kind of is the same thing. That one felt a lot more dynamic to me. That felt like there was a real, I don't know, a, movements at least in the in those thirty seconds, and it felt a lot more intriguing to me personally. So I I really hope I'm not wrong. I feel like that's another loved one. Yeah, you're right. It is. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I think it has like really amazing progression throughout, and like yeah. world building. So that's fun. This one is New World by Kira. So okay, matches pretty well with the vibe. Okay, fun. Okay, that one I like brought my confidence mm-hmm. back a little bit, a little bit. But we'll see if it keeps going. So let's just move right. on to uh, track number four. Okay, that one is a little tough for me because I feel like the uh, the bat the basic beat of this track. Like, let's remove that kind of those synth licks. They, it feels very basic. It feels kind of very boring. But the like kind of piano synth there makes the track interesting. It feels like a mix of like a weird Haywire and Alan Walker, where it's like the the good parts of Haywire and like the kind of more boring parts of Alan Walker for me personally. So that's a tough one for me. Man, you pick good ones. This is tough. Is this wow? Is, I get it now. I get now. <laughs> this is so tough for other people. Oh man. Um, based off of the synth licks alone, and just the I'm gonna say I'm gonna say loved. Yeah, it is loved. Yes. Okay. Yes. And you're you're totally right about the haywire part. I think especially like this is the first drop. If you listen to the second one, it's like I think those sounds are like taken straight out of like haywire. It's like mm. really similar. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to find artists that do that kind of uh, very almost solo heavy keyboards and stuff with like even Oblivion or Haywire, like from both from Monster Cat kind of, um, I find that those tracks are more often than not loved than than hated. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, good to know. So three for four, let's head into number five. Unique. I'll give it that. <laughs> wow, okay. I feel like I know exactly what style song this is in terms of like this is uh 
this is like a feel it coming from Monster Cat from Dairo, where it was like a song that wasn't loved, but it was like memed on and it became like a joke. And so I'm going to say this one is uh, is hated. I'm not going to say this is loved. Yeah, it is hated. Okay. Uh, I, don't know. I wouldn't say this is a meme track. There are definitely meme tracks, but like, yeah. This I can see like this one of... being a meme track for me personally, at it least. It could, yeah. It just had such a uh, like unique sound that honestly wasn't too bad like I, I found myself kind of getting into it halfway through i think it's just those i don't know the off kilter i don't even know what that is the weird percussion ish hit sounds uh yeah i, I don't know the back end or like the the bass layer of the track sounded great but i don't know that the melody line just wasn't it for me this one's dead it's just dead lowercase with the <laughs> exclamation mark at the end it's my great yeah okay <laughs> okay uh moving into track number six i am four for five Okay, that's a fascinating one. Um, I also know that, uh, at least in my experiences, NCS hasn't been the most uh, like heavy label. Like a lot of the more, they don't do a ton of like real heavy dubstep or drumstep or kind of trap. And uh, this felt like something more in that realm, like that would be on a Monster Cat Uncaged. And so I feel like based off of that, actually, this is um, a liked song that this was, it felt good enough for me at least. And so I think based off of a, a change in pace for the label as a whole, I think this is, uh, I, I would say this is loved. Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, I don't know. I think there are a lot of like pretty heavy songs on NCS to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Like throughout the whole label's duration. So maybe yeah, it's just those I, ones don't get as popular. Really. That's probably it too. Like this is just a very, I guess, biased review for me who doesn't even listen to a ton of NCS. So mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, and what was the name of the track? Uh, that is Calm Before the Storm by Rebel Scum, Danny King, and Centrix. Oh, Danny King, okay. I think I know Danny King. Yeah, you'll see some vocalists on here that you might recognize. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number seven. I am uh, five for six, I think. Here we go. <laughs> This is fascinating. Okay, so this one feels like an older track to me. It feels like an older song, which uh, for the Monster Cat Guessing Game ended up being, a lot of the older tracks were the more hated ones because it's just, you're voting in, a, in a, like 10 years in the future on these tracks that were different back then. So I feel like a back then this is this kind of slaps, but for like a now, I'm not sure. It had, a, it had moments and sparks where I felt like it was really intriguing. And then other moments I was like, oh, this is kind of a, this is kind of boring. I'm going to say, oh, shoot, this is another tough one. I feel like it could honestly go either way. I'm going to say this is hated. You're incorrect. It is no! loved. <laughs> when do you think this came out? Like, let's let's say you pick a Oh, here. like, see, I would have pictured this around the same time as, like, the Nitro Fun cheat codes. Like, it feels like that same kind of uh, complex or lecture house. I would say this is, like, 2014. Is it, like, 2020? It's 2017, so, like, 20- yeah. Okay, right in between. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. very shoot. old school design. Dang it! I really could have felt like that one could on either way. So I'm, I was, I was trying to, I, I feel like I just got to start guessing me and start guessing and less guess about. I'm trying to be too meta. I'm trying to think about it too much. I think. So maybe. Dude, okay. Uh, yeah, five for um, seven, I think. Yeah, that was Psycho by Four Eyes. Okay, Psycho by Four Eyes. Okay. Okay, moving right along. Uh, Here is track number eight.
Okay, I I really like that. I thought that was great, like kind of weird, I don't know, techno of sorts. So I'm just going to straight up say that was loved because I liked it. It was not loved. Are you? I had to oh. say it to you. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is that track? Uh, it is Take It Down by Facading. Like, I like that a lot. Thing is, like, <laughs> he's one of those mid tempo artists. Like, there are a few of them, but like, who just like basically makes the same song like every time, you know? Dang. Like, I think with mid tempo, it's just really easy to get like very repetitive with these things. Yeah, and, that's fair. Yeah, this track is just like that same thing for like three minutes. That's kind okay. Of and again, that's the, I'm only hearing a small snippet of a larger thing here. So, oh yeah. no. Okay. Shoot. Okay, let's move on to track nine. I believe I'm five for eight now. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the classic NCS sound. song i totally Dude. know the song this is okay i feel like this has got to be an alan walker track so here's the thing that i am i was anticipating for this moment i genuinely don't know if the ncs community actually really likes that classic ncs sound if that makes sense part of mm. me feels like some of them are like we don't like the sound this is like we're not known for this specific style we're not known for the alan walker we're known for all this other stuff but part of me is also like, this is like our bread and butter. It's a classic. So I am, oh man, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's loved. Sorry, it's hated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three wrong in a row. Is this Alan Walker? But it is not Alan Walker, but it is Jim Yosef. Yeah. Oh. oh. Do you remember Melodynamia? Like, I think that's yes, what it's called. Yes, yes. I, I know the name. Yeah, I know yeah. the name. So, so that one, like, you know, the original was like, all right, it was fine, right? And then they slapped on Annie Vets locals, like vocals for like mm. no reason, right? This is the same thing. It is literally Anna again, like except with Jim Yosef. Oh, um, interesting. So, it is would you say my my thought? It, like, do the would you say overall the NCS community doesn't actually like that NCS sound? Classic NCS is like kind of a very broad term. I guess what you're thinking of mostly is like you know just commercial house, yeah, which is also like pretty split. Um, that's fair. I think it, yeah, it's hard to generalize that. That's fair. That's fair. That feels like, I guess to me, that's, that sounds like NCS. That's like, if I had to mm-hmm. bring a sound, it, that would be it. Jim Yosef yeah, and very much um, so. Alan Walker. That sounds like it, NCS to me. So, oh shoot. Okay. I think I'm three f- or wait, five for nine. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, track number 10. Another tough one. Okay, I I I really am doing poorly by doing a meta comment or meta thought here but i i'm gonna do it again and hope that i don't know why this is the same thing my dad did where he used a strategy over and over again and it never it stopped working or it never worked and okay so based off of what you said before where it feels the repetitive stuff where things don't change those are the more unlike tracks that one felt like it didn't change a ton i didn't mind the beat but it felt like it was the same thing over and over again for at least even 30 seconds it felt repetitive so i'm gonna say that's hated it's loved are you kidding oh me <laughs> Yeah, I mean, once again, it is 30 seconds, you know, uh, I think even, like, I think the drop isn't even the best part of the song, to be honest. Uh, yeah, this is Unity by Dropouts, and it's featuring Aloma Steel. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, I, personally for me, this is one of my favorites of, like, you know, classic NCS, I guess. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, just like, the drop is kind of, like, repetitive when you just listen to it like that, but I think it fits really well with, like, the whole song. Yeah. It's just my opinion. And that then that's the like I might have a totally different opinion based off of listening to the whole track. So like I, you, yeah. I don't hear the vocalist at all really. So shoot. I I thought I I really got to stop. I got to I got to stop being my dad here. 
because I'm trying to meta it and it's not working. I'm trying to meta the game. So, okay, uh, I'm five for 10. I think I have half now. I think I've, that's four in a row I've got lot wrong. Okay, uh, track number 11, here we go. Oh, come on, these are tough. Looks like I succeeded. I feel like I enjoyed that song again. I feel like I enjoyed that. Ah, uh, frick this. Um, I'm going to say hated. That's your answer? Yeah. You're right. You're just oh, hated. Thank goodness. <laughs> the relief. Oh, that's another one, though, that I actually, like, sort of liked. I, just, I enjoyed. Yeah, I think a lot of these, like, hated Supposedly ones are not really that bad. Uh, I guess which is why I picked them, but Yeah, uh, totally. Yeah, yeah. that's that's Shakedown by Clerics who okay. has a pretty like yeah, future house style is like pretty well known for being that sort of like slow style, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I again another one I enjoyed. Uh, so this just goes to show again. This goes to show that these songs aren't. This isn't a be all end all. If it's loved or hated, doesn't mean it's it's the be all end all. Like everyone's vote counts in these vote things. And so there's a ton of things on even the Monster Cat one that I vote on all the time that I songs that are really loved and I don't like at all, and songs that are really not loved and I enjoy. So uh, moving on to track twelve, I believe I'm six for eleven. I need a perfect game here from this point on out to to tie the percentage of what everyone else has got the highest score. So we'll see. Uh, one for twelve. Here we go. Or, Number 12. Hey, Smart Future House. Okay, um, another one I enjoyed a little bit more, uh, and those are two very different styles of what I would at least consider Future House, um, yeah, and that one felt more up the alley of what I think more people would enjoy, more palatable for more people, so I'm going to say that one is loved. Yeah, you're correct. Okay, yes. great. Uh, it's actually like number five on the boat right now. Wow. Really loved. Wow, okay, that surprises me. And who's this one? What is this one? Uh, this is a long one. It's Future Vibes by K. Safo and Alex Grindo, featuring Stuart Wallace, Uplink Rebix. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. Wow. Okay, another, another, so I'm glad I got a very, very, like a top one, at least. I got, I'm glad I got one of those right. So. Uh, okay, I am, I believe, six now for 12, something like that. No, seven? I'm not sure. The, rec the correct score somewhere here. I'll, I'll yeah. put it up there at some point. So, uh, okay, number 13, here we go. Okay, so I just thought of <laughs> something that's either going to be the worst thing I've said or the most brilliant. This sounds like uh, Sabai, uh, but NCS version, um, where the Monster Cat community doesn't really love Sabai. It's more uh, electro poppy and a little more like future bassy. Um, th this one seems like it's a uh, Sabai version of NCS. So I'm going to say this one is, is hated. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, do you remember those like Terry Ipip memes? Or like going around a few years ago. Maybe if I if I saw it or heard it, but oh okay, yeah, that was a pretty big thing like overall in the meme community, I guess. But like, um, this is it. Yeah, the song is it. No, so this is a part three. You've heard of part <laughs> twos, but like, 
part three. Yeah, like I think he just kind of ran out of ideas. Like this is just like yeah, okay, it, it just kind of like got really old. This is like the lowest voted song of twenty twenty two. Okay. So okay, okay, yeah. that does make sense to me. So okay, uh, let's move on to track number fourteen. Yo. Is Cage in the house? Okay, that one I think has got to be loved. That is some fun bass house that I really enjoy. That sounds very much like a, a, a Cage style track. So I'm just going to straight up say loved. It's actually hated. What? Really? Yeah, I mean, I think part of it is like being short and then just having like the same drop like twice, I guess. But like, yeah, I was surprised to see this one that low. Dang. Okay. Wow. I, what, so who's this? What is this one by? Uh, this is Talk is Cheap by Magnus featuring Vindon. Interesting. That is very fascinating because this sounds like what I would imagine like a, a Cage track from Monster Cat would be, like Cage of the K. Um, yeah, I guess that just, I, I just think I'd love to hear more of the sound, the the song because the, the the differentiation of like the sound design there, I guess from a Cage to this style track changes it drastically. So, huh, fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna get a lower score than what is possible than I think than the than the highest people that are in the Monster game. So, uh, here is track 15, the final one. Let's end on a win. Okay, um, very fascinating track. That one I really feel like go either way, and that's when I feel like I really need to hear the whole song. Um, also, is uh, is Dylan Matthew on this um, uh, vocal feature, or is it Dylan Matthew? Uh, I, I don't I, know. I, this is it's just the vocal sample. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vo- okay, just the vocal sample. It sounded like yeah, okay. Um, that this one could really go either way for me personally. I think it could be loved because it's very unique, or hated because it's too out there. And I'm going to say, to end it, uh, my gut's telling me hated. My gut's telling me hated. I have to go with it. It's loved. Ah, oh, frick! I had to say it, man. I suck. <laughs> wow. It's hard for you. I really set the bar high for me. So what was that track? Uh, it's Spirit by Pleague. Uh, okay. Oh, Pleague. I know Pleague. I know yeah. Pleague. Okay, wow. Okay, so I think in the end, the correct number is will be somewhere here in the actual video, but I think I got eight. I think I was eight for 15, which is not great. Um, I expected to do substantially better. I really set the bar too high. I did what every person that came in and does on the show. When I when I did the first one, they were like, oh, I'm going to do great. This is going to be easy. I'm going to come and get like a perfect score, one less than perfect, or I'm going to beat everyone else and then comes and like gets wrecked. So that is exactly, I should have learned. I really should have learned from all of the people before me that came. But um, <laughs> uh, that was really fun. Uh, that was that was really fun. So thank you, BL Craft, for hosting this. Um, yep, as no uh, we will have uh, more episodes to come in the future. So uh, stay tuned for those. Um, but for now, uh, I've been Bowtie Media. And we'll see you guys in another video.